What's up everyone? It's Sunday, July 11th, 2021, and I'm in Santa Monica, California. Santa Monica is a city in Los Angeles County, and it's bordered by different neighborhoods of Los Angeles. Pacific Palisades to the north, Brentwood to the northeast, West LA to the east, Mar Vista on the southeast, and Venice Beach on the south. This is a popular resort town and it was made famous because it was very close to um, the coast and many of the magnificent beachfront homes next to the Pacific Coast Highway can be found in Santa Monica. But this over here is the intersection of 4th Street and Colorado Avenue. There's a lot of cars over here. This is one of the um, entrances to get into Santa Monica. That over there is the big blue bus. It costs a dollar to ride and that's a temporary fare. I don't know how long that's going to last. But here we have a sign that says greetings from Santa Monica. And the hashtag is greetings tour. So what we're going to do is walk back over this way and there's a cool little shopping mall I want to show. Yeah, that's me. What's up? I'm from Texas and I found really? all your New York videos. Oh my gosh. Oh, awesome to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Take care. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. People here are so friendly. This is my first day in Los Angeles, by the way, and I already got someone who recognized me from Texas. The first of many videos to come. I don't know if this video will be the first video I upload on Los Angeles, but it'll be funny if it is. The weather's nice and sunny here. 72 Fahrenheit, 22 Celsius. This over here is the Santa Monica Place shopping mall. It's a really cool shopping mall. It's got three levels and it's kind of like an open air shopping mall. It works for this area because there's barely any rain here. You've got dining and entertainment on the third floor. And I think there's a food court on the second floor as well. Here's a Starbucks on the first level. Now, my goal of walking through this Santa Monica Place shopping mall is to show you this open air structure and eventually get towards the Third Street Promenade, which is an open um, area for shopping. Similar to this, but it's uh, only one story. But you can see there's a lot of stores around here. Uniqlo, the Coupoles, Indochino, made to measure. There's also a Nordstrom, which I think is the uh, flagship store in this area. Indochino's also got a display here showcasing some of their clothing. So that's pretty nice. And um, we're gonna go over to the right here from the central area. That's where the Third Street Promenade is. But first, before I go there, I wanna show you what's around this open air here, area here, right in the center. Cheesecake Factory, you've got Zwilling over there, Sorvoski, cool little escalator most epic salon. Also, Sparrows from New York City, 1956 is here on the food court on the third floor. Oh, I guess the food court's on the third floor. I said it was the second floor before. But now we're um, 
entering into the Third Street Promenade of Santa Monica. This is going to be pretty fun. But basically, this is a pedestrian mall esplanade. It has like shopping, dining, and entertainment. This area originally opened as the Santa Monica Mall on November 8, 1965. And many people come here just to enjoy the sights and the sounds. Also, Santa Monica is a transit hub. There's many buses and transits that come through here. The uh, Metro Line E has its last stop in Santa Monica. This is by far a very popular tourist destination. Hopefully I don't get in trouble with the music. But I'll try to talk over it as much as I can. They got a large Nike store here. You can see the epic swoosh of the logo in the back. Cheesecake Factory even extends all the way here, my goodness. We also got palm trees over here. This is the intersection of 3rd Street and Broadway. Of course, every city's got to have a Broadway, right? That's a really interesting car, the smart water car. I wonder if they give out free drinks. I know the Red Bull sometimes does that. Sounds like there's some buskers over there drumming a performance. This um, crosswalk light definitely takes a while. Hopefully this is the only like long light over here. There's a lot of people out right now enjoying this pedestrian mall. Here we've got cults, food, coffee, and cocktails. Here we are, 3rd Street Promenade, Bayside District. All the bees are pollinating flowers here. Also a Triceratops fountain, which is really unique. And if any of you want to know about the map, welcome to downtown Santa Monica with the legend. This is really neat. Welcome back, Santa Monica sign. There's tons of shops around here. H&M, Somi Somi, which is a Taiyaki store. Paxson, Aldo. Over here, we've got a Stegosaurus fountain that's under Renovations, I guess, the caution tape. Oh, look at that. Third Street Promenade with the van. It's pretty neat. A dollar feel good, five dollars feels better, twenty dollars drum it feels great. Here's the Broadway AMC Theater. It's a large urban outfitter store. Has happy pride in the window, even though Pride Month's over since June. But that's fine. C 
seems like both sides of this Third Street Promenade are pretty popular with people. The left side a little bit more so, where I am. Tilly's Summer Adventures. And if you want to see the Apple Store, it's right over here. One of the larger Apple stores that I've seen. Here we've got Bruxy. It's named one of 20 best fried chicken places in America by US Today. T-Mobile store. Also, if you get into trouble, you've got the public safety kiosk here, Santa Monica Police Department. As I said earlier in the video, Santa Monica is its own city, so it has its own fire department, police, medical, things of that nature. Here you've got Udo, Ugo, an Italian cafe. It's kind of hard to read that font, but I figured it out. Also famous for the Ugo gelato. I see someone eating the gelato right now. BB Bop Asian Grill and Wetzel's Pretzels. So we've got two more blocks of this Third Street Promenade left. We're crossing over Santa Monica Boulevard right now. Santa Monica Boulevard, hello. Barney's Beanery, Cocktails and Beer. I don't know exactly when they turned this Third Street area into a pedestrian mall, but it's definitely a big plus for this neighborhood to have this here. As it brings a lot of traffic and it allows people to walk and give it a lot of space. We got another Starbucks here. The first one I've seen since the Santa Monica Place shopping mall. Carlos Bake Shop. People are showing off their tans. You don't really see too many luxury stores compared to the beginning of the promenade where the uh, shopping mall was. Here is a lot more um, like local brands like Adidas and Super Dry Store, Sunglass Hut, Skechers. They do a really great job keeping their lawns green and with nice flowers. Also, I like how they did these displays with all the dinosaurs. Oh wow, look at this. There's a almost life-size chess set. That shit came out when I was in middle. It's kind of these quirky little things that make this promenade fun. The Los Angeles area is known for its creativity. Here we've got the Johnny Rocket store. 
It's kind of like a retro 1950s kind of theme inside the Johnny Rockets. If you've never been in one before, it's kind of strange to step in there. You kind of feel like you're stepping back in time. Over here, we've got Silver Lake Ramen. Silver Lake is a uh, trendy neighborhood in Los Angeles, but I'm not sure if the name Silver Lake Ramen has its origins from that neighborhood. There's a chill little coffee shop, the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. That looks like a uh, life-size Connect 4 or probably Connect 5, I'm not even sure. Game. Fear Street Netflix. Some kind of promotion going on here. We got Victoria's Secret. After all these years, I still don't know what the secret is. Stefano's Pizzeria celebrating 20 years in downtown Santa Monica. It looks good from the pictures. This is the last um, block of the Santa Monica Promenade I'll be walking through. We're walking across Arizona right now. And um, I think we'll make a left on Wilshire or Wilshire. Now the next um, block. Here we've got Kindred Spirit, delicious desserts, drinks, and coffee. The Trick Art Museum, which is kind of interesting. It'd be kind of cool to go in there. What, what's uh, tricky about this artwork? I'm curious. Wake That Paints 3D Art and Augmented Reality Playground. Oh, I see. Really neat. Tamashi Nations pop-up shop in Santa Monica. Really cool. They've got the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku in the window from Dragon Ball. And here we've got Sephora and an outdoor eating area for this restaurant, Cantina. Look at this cool little artwork. This is really neat. No signal, please stand by. People all out here relaxing, having fun, dining out. Feels like the uh, crowds are starting to thin out now towards the end here. Also over here you've got these unique little chairs you can sit on and roll around and just lounge back. Sounds like a live performance happening here near Wilshire. Oh, this is a really neat photo op over here. Downtown Santa Monica. And we also got a uh, large checkers board with the white and black pieces. Usually I think it's red and black, but white and black works too. Doesn't really matter the color, right? As long as it's two different colors and it's the same game, right? Over here we've got, oh, this store is for lease, but it looked like it used to be an art studio or something. They're playing live music in that bar over there.
All right, so that was the entirety of the Third Street Promenade. Now I'm going to make a left here to get to the beach, which is about 10 minutes away, according to that sign. Hello. Wilshire and 3rd Street. People here are so friendly, they want to wave to the camera and say hi. Santa Barbara Airbus. Wonder what that's all about. There's another one. Are these tour buses getting off? What's what's going on here? Maybe they're shuttling from downtown or something. California Pizza Kitchen. I think you can just call this place Pizza Kitchen and it'll still be California, right? Our adventure guarantee. Seems like they could have a wide menu in there. Oh wow, that looks good. Like avocado and... Hello. Wally's fine wine and gourmet foods. Push the button here and cross the street. We've got a green light, but the pedestrian signal is not on. Also, it says that diagonal crossing is okay, so just be aware you can cross that way if you wanted to. Diagonal crossing saves you the extra effort of going to one side of the block and then walking to the other side. Are we going to get a crosswalk signal? Yes! Alright. Here we've got 800 degrees. Looks like they do uh, roast chicken plates. Makes sense given the name of the restaurant. Also, interesting size. Quinoa tabule, sweet corn and cherry tomato. Huh. And over here we have a bike share system by Lyft, the uh, ride sharing app. I don't know how much they cost, but maybe I could lift, I mean, uh, <laughs> open my Lyft app right now and I'll show you how much it costs. Let's see. All right, that was an electric bicycle and uh, it costs a dollar to unlock and 34 cents per minute. I think that's actually a pretty good value compared to the e-scooters over there because the bird e-scooter I checked was a dollar to start and 39 cents a minute. All right, so we are at the beach at the intersection of Ocean and Wilshire. 
The Pacific Ocean is right in front of me. And I'm going to make a left here across the street towards the Santa Monica Pier, which has a lot of entertainment and also a amusement park. I'm not sure if that driver was allowed to do that, but to me it seemed like they didn't yield to the pedestrian there. Over here on the beach side, they've got a two-way bike lane. There's also a dirt trail. There's the beach down there. It's also a large parking lot. Beautiful pets. So I'm going to give a teaser of what's to come because I see it right now. We'll be walking all the way down there. That's the Santa Monica Pier. There's also a Ferris wheel and a roller coaster there. So over there, I see there's a bus 704 to downtown Los Angeles. That I believe is one of their limited stop buses. I think the sevens in front of the bus number designated as an express bus and a nine means local bus from my understanding. But correct me if I'm wrong. This is a really nice beachfront walkway. Plenty of shade with all these trees. All shapes and sizes. Over to my left, we've got um, the Shangri-La, I think it's a hotel, Shangri-La Hotel. Yes, it is. It says hotel in front. Understandably, hotels in this area will cost a lot more money compared to like downtown. just because it's so desirable. All right, I guess we're taking the stairway down to the beach.
There's a lot of nice homes down there. Those pigeons there seem to be enjoying the view. I think we can enjoy the view as well. Definitely a great view up here. Someone's wearing an NYC shirt. I wonder if they are from New York City. Interesting cliffside. This pedestrian overpass was built in 1935. And I believe this road over here is the Pacific Coast Highway. There's no way you can cross over here unless it's at one of these overpass areas. The next opportunity is all the way down there. Even though this bridge was built so long ago, it seems to be in good condition still. Wow, look at that. You really get to see the contrast from this side. How they just built right into the cliff side there and made this highway. It would be nice if there was like a slide to go down, it would be much quicker. Alright, so this is the Santa Monica Beach. We had to do quite a bit of walking in order to get here. But from here, you can actually walk down, I believe, for a long way. I've seen um, articles saying you can walk down as far as like Marina del Rey on this um, area. Definitely down to Venice Beach, which is another trendy beachfront area in Los Angeles area. This is the perfect area to go beach cruising. It's also good that they have this area separated for walking and for the cyclists. These homes right by the beachfront here are very desirable and they go for high prices. Some of them are also creative in their design too. Take a look at this over here. It's like rainbow color and 
That one's even got a yellow spiral staircase. Well, that wasn't very smart. Blocking the other side of the bike lane. These places are very modern. High ceilings, nice balconies. Also, as you see, it's in close proximity to the Third Street Promenade area where you can go and get something to eat and do some shopping as well. This area is also popular with skateboarders, I see. Some interesting planes passing above. Sandy Bay House. This one over here doesn't look modern, it looks historic. I'm sure there's a lot of history behind that house. Maybe it's landmarked. I also like it how there's a little bit of separation between the pedestrian area and the cycling area with these like stone barricades. Also, there's some areas here where the cyclists need a dismount, so it's not completely like separated. Here's another pedestrian overpass to the top there. That actually looks pretty good. Elatis and Esquites. Lots of juices and nice refreshments. So we have to cross over here. In order to get to this side towards the beach and the Santa Monica Pier. I can tell a lot of people here are into their fitness and they like to exercise a lot. The sand quality too is also very nice, seems kind of 
powdery and there isn't much litter in the sand itself. That scooter sounds like it's got a noisy motor. Looks like as far as like people setting up on the beach, over here by the pier is where they want to be. Not so much on this side. This path winds around a lot, but they did it to accommodate all the parking uh, spaces. <laughs> if it was direct, it would be a lot more simple. There's a lot of people on the Santa Monica Pier today. I don't know if it's normally like this since it's my first time here, but I would think the weekends here would draw out a lot more crowds and especially because it's during the summertime. Actually I take that back, I still don't know how the weather is during the other seasons. Maybe it's normally this crowded on the weekends. I think what I'll do here is I'll end this video at the Ferris wheel area. I might give a good view of the general area and also show you most of the pier. Here's the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Hello. Over here is where you want to go if you want to access the beach.
All right, here we go. Santa Monica Pier North entrance. Oh, it's it's closed. Enter from the pier at Ocean Front. So there's a little detour we have to do in order to get up here. Let's see if this is the way to get up to the pier. I'm not even sure where Ocean Front is. It makes sense that it's this street here. But it makes sense that they'll have an entrance on the other side. And over here it says no pedestrians, but people are walking here anyway, so... I guess I'll just follow their lead. No one seems to be walking on that bottom level at all. You can hear people's footsteps right on top of me. I wonder what it is that they closed that north side for. So there's a sign that says Ocean Front Walk to the left. Well, let's see if we can go up this way. Yes, we can. Let's take a shortcut. And go up. Finally, after much detours, we're at the Santa Monica Pier. It's a cool little roller coaster. Sure, got a lot of entertainment here. Pier burger, air hockey and foosball, ski ball and prizes. Wow, we can't even go this way. I have to go around. There's certainly a lot of people dining over here in Pier Burger. Yeah, 
There's the um, bathrooms and the washing areas. Wow, it's a long line for the bathroom here. Here's where many tourists get their photos. Santa Monica, Route 66, end of the trail. It's like almost obligatory to have a photo here if you're visiting Los Angeles. vendors on the side here too. Here, tamales. We've also got the monks here. I said I'll make it to the end of the pier, but I think I'll save this for another time. But um, I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed watching this, walkthrough of Santa Monica, California, and please smash the like button, subscribe for some more videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.